Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. I wanted to share you a quick video um, that I'm going to put on my website, bonniestamped.com. So if you want to refer back to it with all the details on the card, you may. And what I'm going to highlight just today is how I created the medallion flower. And you can see right here, this one is Soft Sky and Bermuda Bay. And on this one, I used Flirty Flamingo and Melon Mambo. For time purposes, I've already started my card. And I wanted to just share with you quickly the measurements. It's four and a quarter by 11, okay? And you're gonna score it at five and a half, okay? Then you are going to, let me put it this way, you're gonna cut off two and three fourths. So you see how this part comes off? I'm gonna place that over there. And then I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna fold my card. So I got my little flap. I've got my little layering piece at five and a quarter by four. And then I have already stamped my leaves. Now the leaf came from the same stamp set as the medallion. And it's Crazy About You, which happens to be on the retiring products list this time around. And it comes in one of two cases. However, I was able to put both of mine into the one case. It might be a little snug, but I would rather have them all together than try and find the one of two or the two of two. So for me, it's easier just to have them all in one case. So as you can see, lots of words, the medallion, the leaf, and then this little flower works perfectly in our circle punches or our circle framelits. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. And then again, my little card I showed you, I already stamped and I used Melon Mambo. Okay, now to make the medallion, I'm going to take, believe it or not, another retiring set, kind of eclectic, I'm sorry for the shadows, and I'm using this sunburst to create the lines on the medallion. So what I did was I took the medallion and I'm gonna ink it in the Melon Mambo. You ink it in the darker color, because a light ink will go onto a dark color, but a dark color will not work the opposite way. I'm gonna take Flirty Flamingo and here's my medallion. Now a trick with the medallion is you wanna make sure you have the fatter, I hate to say it like that, the fatter petal or the bigger petal at like the north, the east, the south, and the west. It makes it a lot easier when you go to punch. So I'm gonna just ink it up. And then hopefully this is all clear. Move that over. Here we go. I don't want that light on there, but I guess I have no choice, right? Oh, there it is. It's gone. Okay, now I'm going to take my medallion. It's all inked, and I'm going to just go right on top. Now, I'm going to bring it way up here so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see. See the tiger lines? I call them tiger lines. I don't know, stripes. Cool, right? Okay. I'm going to grab my scrap paper. I already made one. My son started yelling at the end of the video. Well, I shouldn't say yelling. He's just started talking. And I was like, oh, no. And we're just going to press down. And then I have my flower. And you can see the stripes in the flower, right? Now I'm going to take the medallion punch, which happens to be retiring as well. And let's just focus. And we're going to just scoot this right in. Look at how nicely this fits into the punch. Yay! And then you just punch it out. And you have your medallion. Okay. Put that off to the side. Now my paper, also from the retiring list, it's from Pop of Pink Designer Series paper. Yes, it's black and white. And I probably could leave it. But I don't want to. I... We'll let you know that I did use sponge daubers on this one to create this background. And I use sponge daubers on the builder bow here. But I'm gonna experiment. This is gonna be live. I'm taking the sponge brayer. I forgot that I had them. <laughs> I did this, I did the uh, sponge brayers before and it was just a little dark. So I'm gonna just try. So see, look, I can make any color design of paper I want. Right? Gotta love this pop of pink and it's on sale. So if you guys haven't looked over that retiring list in today's post on my bonniestamp.com, I do have the retiring product list. There's a link 
to bring you to show you everything that's on sale too because some of the product is 50% off. Okay, I don't want it to be perfect. No art is perfect. So look, how cute, right? Got my paper from what I cut before and I'm gonna just take my Fast Fuse. See the pop of pink on the other side? Yeah, I have to be, I always have to try something new. Okay. And then we go like this. Right, here we go. I'm gonna grab my card. Cute, right? And I am going to grab my dimensionals. And you're just gonna put them on one half of the card, not the whole card. And, oh, wait, let me trick. Make a little line. Huh, imagine that, my hands are full of ink. Sometimes they pop right off. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna just place this right there. So as you guys can see, it's not perfectly shaded, but I'm okay with that. I kinda like it. Okay, so now, I already punched out from the Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper, and I'm going to grab my glue dots, and I'm going to put my medallion on with some glue dots. Perfect. And add a little dimensionals on this as well. Now, I already did my sentiments, and I'm just saying thanks because I always need thank you cards. So I'm going to put a little. Yeah, I did it a few times because I wasn't straight. I'm going to just mark it there and there. Hopefully I don't get pink ink. Here you guys go, so you guys can see how I finish up the card. And guess what, there's pink ink on there, I see it. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna put my medallion. Hopefully the dimensionals are low enough. I'm gonna put it right there, just to check. And there's my card. What do you guys think? Good job? So again, that was the Flirty Flamingo and Melon Mambo on Melon Mambo. This is Flirty Flamingo and Melon Mambo on Flirty Flamingo. And then this is Soft Sky with Bermuda Bay on Soft Sky. And I was experimenting and I just wanna show you, this was Melon Mambo and I tried it with our black ink but just wasn't, I mean I guess it would work with this card, right? I could put that right there too. I mean, as you know, we have so many inks that you can choose any color combination that you want. So I hope you find that helpful, and I hope you're following my blog on www.bonniestamped.com. And I love any feedback, so have a great day, and see you soon.